Pasta Granny's is in Maretimo. It's a tiny, tiny little island off Sicily. And the next stop is Tunisia. And we're here to film a pasta grandpa and his wife make frascatole with lobster. <laughs> Allora, mi chiamo Paolina, vivo a Marettimo e sto preparando le pascatole con la ragusta. Giuseppe and Paolina have run their waterfront restaurant on Marettimo for 42 years. Their son is a fisherman and what he catches is put on the menu like these huge lobsters. For the frascatole pasta, Paolina uses a mixture of semolina flour and the cracked durum wheat grains normally used to make couscous. She uses roughly equal quantities. She ladles in a little cold water, alternating with sprinkles of flour and grain. She stirs the mixture until balls form. Frascatole is in fact a kind of lumpy couscous. This pasta is typical of the Trapani region in Sicily and it has its origins in nearby North Africa. The end result should look a little bit like granola. Paolina spreads it out on a tablecloth to dry. It's important to do this, otherwise the frascatole will turn into polenta during cooking. Frascatole are traditionally served in a soup. E allora, buongiorno a tutti. Io sono Giuseppe e preparo il sugo con la ragosta in fondo. Va benissimo, iniziamo. Giuseppe begins by chopping up some celery, including the leaves, and an onion. Ingredienti, le verdure certamente arrivano da Trapani. Sì. He fries this mixture in olive oil with a cinnamon stick and a bay leaf. Io sono specialista per fare la pasta con le sarde, col tonno, quella, quelli li devo fare sempre io, perché mi piace proprio che li devo fare io. Once the vegetables are soft, after about 10 minutes, Giuseppe adds plenty of tomato passata. He pours in a couple of litres of water. You could also add shellfish stock. Giuseppe adds a generous tablespoon of ground black pepper, salt and two cups of ground almonds. Giuseppe explains the difference between male and female lobsters. They taste the same, but the female has roe, which some people love. Giuseppe humanely kills, then halves the lobsters. He removes the intestine and adds the lobster to the sauce. Lastly, he adds a tablespoon of minced garlic. The lobsters should cook for a maximum of 10 minutes. Paolina selects only the larger clumps of pasta. E questi li serviamo a tavola quando chiedono la zuppa di aragosta con le frascatole. Ci dicono la vogliamo fatta con le frascatole e noi gliela facciamo. Sì, e mia moglie l'ingoccia tutto come ha fatto questo. Questi non è che si possono comprare o dice l'abbiamo e le vendono belle e pronte. No, 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 no. Non esistono. To cook the frascatole, Giuseppe uses yesterday's sauce in which 20 lobsters were simmered. In a domestic kitchen, simply remove the lobsters from the sugo to cook the pasta. Daughter Anna is the taste tester. Buona. <laughs> 
Giuseppe serves out the soup with the lobsters to one side. Allora, guys, the frascatoli sono pronti. Vi potete accomodare e vi assaggiare. Va benissimo. You can add the meat to the soup or eat it separately. And it's my turn to try the pasta. This is worth traveling to Moretimo for. That's absolutely delicious. Mm, it's delicate. It's like a, a beautiful lobster bisque that's been made thick with the frascato leaf. And I'm just going to take a bit of lobster shell out of my mouth so I can't talk. Buon appetito! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.